never back down never what never back down never give up are you playing are you dumb are you dumb we just went toe to toe with the champions and people didn't think we could do it people didn't think we could do it kind of like it's I didn't think we could do it, but wow. Four, four, what a thriller. Like, that was some game. Like, that was some game. Don't worry, you should always be thanking Chelsea at this point because we're making your weekends. We made, maybe not your weekends, but we made your week, made your Monday, made your Sunday. Lovely. Maybe two weeks, Seth. We made your two weeks. We made your Monday for that week. You were still thinking about it. So feeling is your team doesn't play like that that being said welcome to my channel on this channel we talk about strictly chelsea occasionally i talk about other things that's my life but the only football club we talk on this channel is chelsea but yeah <sighs> chelsea for man city for they used to call the stanford bridge a brittle but like can't lie we crazy that for but still we came back we showed character we showed spirit like i don't even know the what they call it I don't know the way we're going with this video but just bear with me however it shows up i don't think i'll even edit anything i want you to see everything raw right um you know the five categories we use to judge every match or analyze every match the lineup the first 15 minutes the goals are uh, the subs and things i like and dislike i think that's five right yeah so with the lineup was expected i'll have it on the screen the usual the usual like the only person that wasn't expected or like the only person that was expected that didn't play was Cowell, and they said it's because he has like a shoulder injury or something that he had in training and things like that but it's nothing serious because we saw him at the game he came toward the game not to say that like bad injury players don't come toward the game but yeah i don't think it's serious plus they didn't make it sound like it's serious um what else we had the usual people at the back silva drc corella james disassi drc anyhow um then in the midfield we had enzo caicedo gallagher we had um sterling palmer and jackson normal 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 lineup strong lineup i had no complaints to be honest like even even if covid didn't start like i didn't i didn't have a problem with it because he was not like out of position or something and like the people that i played i trusted them and they proved their worth because we are going into the first 15 minutes of the first and second half the first 15 minutes of the first half chelsea played well they, they were really on front foot which i feel like is very evident or, or reoccurring in all of Chelsea's matches that like the first few minutes of the first half is like we try to like score or dominate the game or control the game score plenty goes and then just see the game out which is not always the case because I, I still feel that like we don't have the quality to see out the game sometimes but sometimes we do but yeah um today we played well the first few minutes and then after the 15 minutes like around the 25th minute we considered the penalty the penalty that anthony taylor gave and kind of like i'm i'm a chelsea fan now, and i know that like i'm a bit biased because like the, the penalty was against my team but it was a 50 50 penalty for me just because like they could have the, anthony taylor could have given a foul against Coca-Cola, like at the like shirt dragging stage and all of that but yeah he didn't give it and like i even thought he was gonna stop when the two chelsea players hit their head because like they said head injury all this concussion things like that i thought that was where the game was going to stop me i didn't even pay attention at the highland and kukulala brawl or, or the buckle or whatever i didn't i didn't even think about it. i didn't even i didn't pay attention to it. me i was still looking at the other side at those guys that felt like is it not going to blow taylor didn't blow and then I started hearing penalty. He, they are checking for penalty, and yeah, it looked bad. Kind of, it looked bad because I feel like it looked extra worse because like Kukela bumped it to like Silva, and then went down like you know those kind of things. Even though Silva did well there, because like, if he didn't hit it, I think Haaland would have scored. And if Haaland scored, they wouldn't have looked at it for a penalty. So it's just it's a weird one. Like I would 
as a Chelsea fan, I wish that we didn't concede the penalty, but we did. And like, it didn't matter because like three minutes or four minutes after that, Thiago Silva scored a beautiful header like chef's kiss. And that's also credit to Kukrela because if he didn't hold up, Rodri, Rodri might have gotten to where Silva would have or like would have blocked where the header Silva was like directing it into and we would have scored so and also if they looked at that his little tackle against Rodri maybe they wouldn't have given us the goal maybe they would have allowed the goal but all in all beautiful beautiful equalizer amazing amazing for their juggling because like we just went down people were feeling hard done and then Silva comes back and then we're up we're up again so it was one one not too long after that. like we're playing well we're playing with sterling scores like i legit froze when sterling scored because i couldn't believe it because like you know Chelsea used to have this kind of rules and then like sometimes they don't tap it in but like sterling tapped it in from the cross from james beautiful cross like lovely 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 stuff i was already on the high but i, was, I still didn't believe that it would end in two one because i just felt like massey had a lot more in them and chelsea doesn't always see the game through if you get what i mean but yeah not too long after or like just before the stroke of half time akonji scored a header um and uh, i was just flattened i can't lie i was a little flattened but like this game was still not into too but at least i was happy that like it was on i wasn't happy it was a stroke of half time but i was happy that it was a stroke of half time just so that we can breathe like but you can tell them something new you can come out you know fighting again or something you know just just like that yeah. second half the first uh 15 minutes of the second half was not really it was light and day from the uh first 15 minutes of the first half because we were not really playing well then to now concede the Haaland goal like in the first i think 90 seconds or the first minute of the second half was not it was not really good i was just like ah, do we do we do go to one to go to like three one or like do you understand is it three two no do we go um two two to go to three two come on now come on now and then it took a long time before our next goal which was jackson's goal which i didn't really see it coming because i think it was guys that fired the shot that edison didn't really like catch and then it was like a rebound and then palmer and like jackson were running Kurt palmer to know like five for it or say let me go for it and jackson went for it slipped under like slipped like this slipped like this <laughs> past edison goal that adrenaline rush i was like come on we can do this we can't do if we can't score three so that's my problem with chelsea i don't feel like we cannot know in but like scoring goals to come back which we have not been very good at the, since last season so to see it in this game against masti of all teams ah oh, i was like you can't chat to me. You can't chat to me. All these people that were talking to me on my Instagram that Chelsea will lose, Chelsea will lose. Hold that. Hold that. You ask me if you do that. Yeah, I said what I said. Drop mic. <laughs> but yeah, um, what has even happened? Yeah, Jackson's go happen and like I was just feeling pumped. Then the game kind of like went down a bit because like our own, our own momentum also kind of went down and everything so i was just like maybe this match is going to end three three right rodri's goal i was so flat and i was like no why 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 oh that god please you cannot give us this kind of thriller game to make man city win because now they will now forget all just effort in this game and then just be saying oh my god man city is such a team oh my god so that has a team of champions performance of champions all those blah, 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 blah. other things they usually used to say to just be for godella godella to be coming his post-match conference and just be chatting shit mind my language sorry for my language but yeah um then i remember like i was tweeting that like this was before the second half something that like jackson sometimes stresses me out because with his decision making because i'm telling you that we could have scored one or two goals before that akonji header at the stroke of half time if jackson had just buried like sterling's efforts very frustrating very frustrating but i forgive him just because he scored that three to go i forgive him you know and then um we even came on for Borja. 
I think it was Kaiseido. I think Kaiseido came up with Broja and like instant impact in my opinion. Instant impact and I'll get to the subs because like what really got the subs correct today. Instant impact Broja came on and like um after like Roger scored the 87 minute goal, Broja considered he could have scored that goal if um what do you call it? If this guy Diaz did not like bring him down, I think and I can't even believe that Diaz was trying to like debate that penalty like fair that was a clear pen like if Anton Taylor did not give it I will I don't want to say I will go and riot <laughs> I don't know where I riot but I'll go and riot I'll go and write petition write a strong letter to anybody that cares to listen because how does a referee go from <laughs> officiating a championship match to officiating one of the big games of the Premier League like it makes no sense it's like almost like they wanted an agenda but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. I will give a whole segment to Anthony Taylor. Then, um, yeah, Roger gets us the penalty. I see his veins, palm, my coat as you like it. Like, oh, that boy. I, I was afraid because, like, Edson is a good penalty saver. And I was just like, God, God, I couldn't watch it. I can't lie. I didn't watch it. I left the room. I left the room. I walked out <laughs> because they even took time to even take the penalty. I left the room. I was like, I can't watch, I can't watch this. I was like, what if he loses? God, I'll be so heartbroken. I'll be heartbroken for him because it's against his former team. I could see that him and Sterling like had a point to prove today, even though like he didn't have such an exceptional game, but he still played at his quality, at his level. Like his performance did not drop to like a sixty or a sixty-five. I would say at best he had like a seventy-five percent performance, seventy seventy percent performance today of a hundred. But yeah scored the penalty easy as you like it they both went the right way but like that shot that power the ghost that for which erupted i was elated like wow yeah then the obviously i've also talked about the goals so you don't need to like highlight the goals again but like of all the goals today that was scored hmm, i think i like palmas on the best Palmer and Silva's goal, like I like them the best just because like nobody expected those goals at those times and they were very crucial to how we kept moving. To be honest. I would say like maybe Jackson's goal helped us to keep going. But like the fact that we kept we kept coming back, we went behind, came leveled, then went in front, leveled, went behind, and still came to level again. Like if they even gave us enough time, maybe we would have made it five for it. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Um, the subs, like I said, Poch really got the subs correct today. He substituted James for um, Gusto. He substituted Enzo for Modric and Caicedo for Borja. And kind of like all of them really came on and made the game better. Because like Modric, disturbing Walker, really like kept him busy. And like, yeah. And you can see that like Modric impact kind of aided the jackson goal the build up to jackson's goal and just subsequent other like impacts because we needed that pace there with with sterling and all of that just to disturb them confuse them all of that um yeah so it was it was uh good subs good subs and then obviously Borja came on and then he caused the penalty that led to the goal that gave that got us leveled with Man city and that's the way the game ended so like to me i feel like Good subs all around. I'll rate all those subs 10 out of 10. Gusto could have even scored a goal, Seth. No, no, no capping. We, we will have beaten Man City. I stand on that. Like, tell me what you want. I can't wait to see what expressions will say because, like, he lost. We won. And not that we won, we drew. But, like, we drew against Man City. Like, come on, what you saying? What you saying? What you saying? So, yeah. Um, the things I liked and dislike, uh, Galga had like a man of the match performance for me. Like he does the dirty job that some people may not notice or sometimes he flies under the radar because some people score goals and like some people have other great performances in different other areas that like you don't notice him. But like he's a man that you don't take off. Like he's just that hard worker that works hard for 
um purchase plan to come through in that midfield by far and so didn't really have a fantastic game he had some good spells especially in the first half more than the second half maybe he looked tired or something in the second half i'm happy that james dealt with doku because like people were chatting like i said they forgot who is james was chatting before the game he pocketed him and like they had to even sub him before which james went up to show you how yeah he's that guy like james is that guy you know so i'm just happy to see him playing so a lot like 60 40 55 minutes games to just get him back to like playing full 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 and things like that so happy that he didn't get injured nothing it was a physical game i'm just happy that yeah james is okay you know we can keep moving forward like yeah um what was that like? Yeah, Kaisela had a good performance. Palmer had a good performance. Just because of that goal, I'll give him like solid like eight over ten. Just just for that goal, because if we didn't, if we didn't score that, goal, some people are okay with it, but some people might not have been. I'll just have been deflated. I'm like, bro, because like when we saw the light, the run of fixtures we had for this november or like from like october to like november, like people didn't believe that we even get results we have only lost one game and even that game self i feel like we shouldn't have lost it but we did but like yeah um what else who else impressed me silver and Coca-Cola to tried kind of like they had lapses where they made mistakes in the game but they still made up for it like in the whole 90 minutes jonathan um obviously silver scored the good that he did you know shout out to him um sanchez to shout out to him even though like he considered four goals he still made some crucial saves at crucial points in that match because we could have easily or master could have easily scored like seven against us if not that like sanchez made some crucial crucial saves that just kept us in the game like they it kept us fighting you know there was that halan chance and like a one or two other that i can't remember but that halan chance i i already thought it was a good i'm telling you i don't swear but i'm telling you like i already thought it was a good and for sanchez to keep it i was just like thank god Woo! The things I didn't dislike is Anthony Taylor. Point blank simple. Like that guy, like I can't just imagine it. Like, is any other is there not any other referee that they can put against us? Because at this point, I just don't like seeing his face. Generally, every time I see him officiating Chelsea, I just automatically think that there's going to be a problem in this game or Chelsea is not gonna win. Simple. Simple because left Anthony Taylor we will have lost the match today. I wanted to say I dare you to not give us this penalty that Broja considered. I dare you. I actually dare you. I dare you but he he had sense he had sense not to do it he had he had sense and that's because it was so clear that he couldn't do anything about him but never say never he has not given us some clear ones so yeah i can't like what can i say but yeah it was a beautiful game peaceful beautiful game enjoy this it was worth every minute of my time this weekend i'm glad i didn't miss it if you missed it i'm sorry for you because you missed a thriller you missed the show. I'm just happy to be Chelsea. Happy to be Chelsea. Happy to be supporting this team. I wouldn't want to support any other team in the world. With that being said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let's keep growing. Let's keep the blue flag flying high. Bye, guys.